Okay, so the more time I've been using iOS 16.2, the more new features and changes I come across. Of course, in this video, I wanted to give you guys a quick follow-up on some new features that Apple has added to iOS 16.2 that I didn't catch initially that have never been seen on iPhone before. So let's just get right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now iOS 16.2 has been out for about a week and a half, a little more than a week and a half, about 10 days now. And I think Apple is soon to be releasing another beta within the next two days or so. We'll talk about expected release date here at the end of this video. But I do want to give you guys a quick recap. As you know, iOS 16.2 does bring the new freeform application where you can go ahead and collaborate and share your ideas on one open canvas. This is going to be a great application for people that like to collaborate collaborate, right, and share ideas. So it's going to be great for all iPhone, iPads, and Mac users coming with 16.2. Apple has also integrated a new report system for unintentional SOS calls. So if you accidentally trigger the emergency SOS on your iPhone, you can actually go ahead and send a report to Apple. Hopefully this will help with a lot of these uh, accidental reports for emergency SOS, which is something that's nice to see. On the lock screen, 16.2 adds a new sleep widget. So if we go to customize here and we click on adding a new widget we now have a new sleep tracking widget which is available or actually two for the lock screen on 16.2 now as i mentioned there's a lot of new things happening here as well that i didn't catch initially number one i do want to talk about the weather application on 16.2 because it now integrates apple news as well and this makes sense right because if you're checking out the weather sometimes you also want to read the news so apple is integrating the news within the weather application you get this platter here and it's spontaneously it doesn't happen all the time you'll see it pop up every now and then when you launch the weather application on your iphone which i really like this touch to the weather application. Now, 5G is coming to India, according to Apple themselves. 16.2 will enable 5G in India. So if you were hoping for this feature to come to your country, India, it is now your time. 5G is coming your way. So yeah. Now, one thing I also noticed is that Shazam has a new interface when you ask Siri to tell you what song is playing. So if you're using Siri to ask what's the music that you're hearing or that you want to know about, you get this new UI. Now, it's the first time I've seen it. I've heard some other users say they've seen this before. This is the first time I've seen it. I compared it to other iPhones running previous versions of iOS, and it doesn't look the same. So to me, this is brand new on 16.2. And last but not least, one of the features I want to talk about, it was something never seen before on the iPhone. It is a new iOS crash report. Now, what this will do is if an application on your iPhone is to crash, you can actually send some information. Apple will ask you what it is that you were doing before the crash happened. The App Store has crashed on me as you can see right there and I did send this information to Apple and this will help in future iOS stability right I like what Apple is doing with these new report systems here for the emergency SOS there's got to be one for the accidental crash detection right for remember when the roller coasters were activating the emergency SOS or crash detection by accident I'm sure there's a UI for that as well on 16.2 but we have iOS app crash report system we have new emergency SOS report system and this is great because this is going to help iOS be more stable right and more precise when it comes to these types of situations. Now, as I mentioned, iOS 16.2 will soon have another beta. It's about 11 to 12 days since the uh, release of beta 1. So beta 2, it looks like Apple is going to a two weeks release schedule with this software, at least as of right now. So the next beta is to be expected on Monday the 7th or Tuesday the 8th of November. So about a day or two after the filming of this video, expect another beta. There you guys have it. Just a quick update on iOS 16.2. A lot of great new features and things never seen on iPhones like these new reports for emergency SOS and crash reports. So let me know what you think about the software so far. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.